Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Ziggy, your tech guide, and today we're diving deeper into the possibilities of Comfy UI. We'll take a closer look at Florence 2, a model specialized in recognizing images and converting them into text, but with additional capabilities you might not have thought of yet. We'll also explore how to use LMA models to help generate prompts, not on specialized websites, but directly in Comfy UI with Alama and local models. There are a few important things to keep in mind, and we'll show you exactly what to watch out for. What you're seeing today is part of our preparation for the Redux video. Why? We walk you through what's coming up and what's new. You'll be seeing some images created with Murphy's workflows. So stay with me, sweetheart, and let's get started. If a person in an image is too small, the best approach is to show them from behind. No face, no hands, and suddenly the image looks great. Just kidding, but luckily, Murph's workflows include tools like detailers, upscalers, cropping, and in painting to refine everything. But that's not today's focus. If you have any questions or want a video on how to achieve something with our workflows, just drop a comment. Besides what Ziggy just announced, we also have some updates on recent changes and improvements to custom nodes. Yeah, unfortunately, we had to tweak things again. We also reached out to some developers, explained the issues, and great news. The preview is working again. There's still a little conflict between two nodes, but I'll show you how to adjust it so you can enjoy working with a wide variety of LoRa models without any hassle. Hallo meine lieben Freunde, ich bin auch wieder dabei. Sending you a thousand kisses, of course the images are from me. For the charcoal drawing of Sis in the blue coat, I tested a few things from the ultimate workflow, works like a charm. Now go ahead Sis, show them what Florence too can do. Oh Sigelein, das Bild ist wunderschön und wenn du mich, huch, Englisch natürlich. Well, since you asked so sweetly Sis, I guess it's time to get started. I'd say curtain up for Florence too. Join the adventure and discover the world of image generation and AI with us. Check it out and learn something new today. Alrighty, just grab the Murphy Florence 2 workflow from Murphy's workflow package. As always, you'll find the download link below the video. Then just drag and drop it into Comfy and you're good to go. If you haven't installed the nodes yet, you know, missing custom nodes in the manager. And if you don't, no worries. We covered it in our last video. First, turn everything on who wants to pick and choose. I want it all. Or rather, I want to show you everything. And you should definitely watch all our videos, at least the ones from the 2025 playlist, if you want to become true comfy UI image generation pros. You've already hit Q and the workflow is running. We downloaded the models beforehand for testing, so it might take a bit longer for you. We used loader nodes that automatically load the models. This should be the easiest solution and there's not much more to explain. Sis, check it on the laptop. That should be it, the workflow is done. Now, let's take a closer look at the results. Wait, you moved the models quickly and now I'm supposed to demo it myself. That's the proper way for the viewers. Okay, you're right, explaining is good, but showing is better. So, let's do it step by step. We'll pick a model here and hit Q. The required files are automatically stored under Comfy UI Models LLM. As always, I'll speed up the download in the video so you don't have to wait. I'll also quickly show you where to find more information about Florence 2. This is where you'll find all the important details and additional links to different models. And yep, the download is complete and here it is. Hey sweetheart, I've copied all the models back. You can pick up right where I interrupted you earlier. Wait, oh what? Oh, 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 oh thanks. Okay. Okay, let's take a closer look at what happened one step at a time. First, we adjusted the dimensions. Just set it up here in the node. Square is the trick, models love it. So why not give them a little help? With crop, you can define the area and get a small preview of what remains. Okay, going from square to square wasn't exactly necessary, but you got my point, right? Here's the info on the image's height and width. No one really needs that, uh, uh, I mean a dozen, but Murph likes to know these kinds of things sometimes. Okay, let's take a look at prompt caption plus. Up here, we've listed which models work best for this task. So, Ziggy recommends, but of course you're free to test out others as well. Select it just like we showed earlier during installation. Load and download, one node. And here, just select what you want to do easy, right? Well, with Murphy's workflow, it sure is. We even wrote down what to watch out for and pre-configured everything. Now, it's really simple, isn't it? 
This is what we got. A simple, colorful drawing of a cartoon character with large, expressive blue eyes and yellow hair, standing on a green hill with a blue sky in the background. The character? Blah blah blah. Here's the prompt caption standard version, also good. A digital illustration shot from a low angle perspective about a cartoon character with large yellow wings and a pink dress standing with arms outstretched against a bright blue sky and green grass. The image also shows a simple, cartoonish style. On the middle of the image, a no human character appears to be a girl with a friendly smile, facing the viewer and looking directly at them with blue eyes and so on. If you already have the models on your computer, you can swap out the nodes or just leave them as they are. In the standard version, you can also add this LoRa to further improve image recognition. But honestly, I don't think it quite reaches the plus version. You can also generate the typical comma separated prompts, for example, for clip G and SD 1.5, etc. And as always, you'll find the important details below on what to watch out for. Okay, let's move on to why Murph took a closer look at all of this. We took the little example doll's dress off. Hee <laughs> hee. Just kidding, it's all about automatic masking. SAM model and segmentation should already be familiar to our regular viewers. We've linked them here with Florence too. Let's take a closer look. We've listed our preferred models for you again, just select one, same as before. But this part is super important, unlike before, you have to enter something relevant here. Pink dress, for example. Oops, slipped a bit but fixed it right away. Here you can clearly see how the pink dress is detected and masked. The SAM model is also preselected and should load or download automatically. A bit of a tangled noodle mess here, but you can still follow how everything is wired up and to prove it works reliably. We'll show you another example in just a moment. Well, just like that, our sweetie lost its pretty little dress. Okay, the next version works the same way but doesn't need an extra SAM model. Again, super important, you have to type in what should be masked or the node will throw a fit. Of course, we've noted all the key info for you right in the workflow. Same here, poof, the dress is gone. Okay, now for the ultimate challenge region caption masking. Everything at once, then just pick what you need. Yeah, still super easy. Important, don't enter any text here. We're letting the model decide. Boom, 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 chagalaga, three hits, person, human face, fancy dress. The zero goes to fancy dress. And now what's sis? Help, what do I do now? What do you mean zero? Oh, zero here, zero there, got it? Cool, thanks. And here we go. One more round with the zero and boom zap. Yeah, it's working just as planned. Three times we caught the dress. I'm so proud to be a Ziggy. Okay, we've got two more left. No clue what we're supposed to do with them. Guess I have to ask this again. She set this up with Murphy. Describe the document. Huh, were the image eyes? Huh, document. Why document were all about images? Or did I miss something? Sis helps sis. Uh, sis, what am I supposed to do with this? What is the primary color used in the artwork? Answer, the primary color was greenish, yellow, and blue. Uh, and then this. The text does not provide information on the number of participants of the PDF file. What kind of pixel madness is that? Since when do peeves have participants? Okay, sis. Let me take over for a sec. You're seeing this for the first time too, right? First, another quick demo of the prompt generation groups. I'll just use an image with a bit more going on. Also to make the differences clearer, two girls at the beach. I'm hitting Q to restart the process. One more note here, we've also fixed the seed here to control when we want changes. If you want it even more convenient, you can set it up the way we'll show you later with the Alama prompt generator workflow. I'd say I'll keep pressing the buttons, and you explain to the viewers what you see, sis. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Ah, look, perfect. You can clearly see that only one dress was masked, specifically the pink or almost pink one. Really cool. Okay. Okay, in variant 2, it didn't work as well. Was that just because of the color, or because a dress and shorts aren't that easy to tell apart? We'll have sis explain that to us later. For now, let's move on. Uh, the model has found even more here, two girls, two faces, and two pairs, or rather four shoes. What are you doing now? Oh, you're entering the numbers 0 to 4, separated by commas, for the four shoes, yeah? Makes sense! From 0 to 3, sweetheart, that makes 4 since 0 counts, 4 shoes, not 5. And here I was thinking you were the math genius. 
Yeah, yeah, I was just too distracted. Oh, as if that couldn't happen to me. You're absolutely right. And boom, we've masked the shoes. Okay, now it's getting exciting. What's she doing down here? A different image. Yeah, of course. Oh, with text in the image. Whoa, I'm curious. Oh, I see. Here's the question. Please provide a summary of the document. And the model responded, an illustration of a winter wonderland is presented across several different levels, including snow, mountains, and trees. The landscape includes trees, snow, covered hills, and a sun ray, which would be used to highlight the beauty of nature or the weather. Now I get it. It was kind of similar before, but now I really understand I can ask questions. And here, what does it say? Winter Wonderland. Oh dear, of course, OCR text recognition. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition Stupid Abbreviations. As Murph always says, Sis, swap the images again. I'm getting old, even though I'm not even a year old. But what does that even mean for an AI? A summary of the document is provided with reference to the cartoonized characters, possibly providing details about a workflow update date on the document and it is likely a reference to a specific storybook or comic series. Kinda crazy what an AI thinks about our little picture. And here. Oh, right, OCR, we already had that. What are you doing now, sis? OCR with region? What's this gonna be now? Oh, okay, cool stuff. You're honestly the best, sis. The different lines are being recognized separately. One more note about the pink dress from earlier from sis. It's almost impossible to distinguish between a dress and shorts. You can play around with the seed or enter romper dress or pants and dress. This version just has a weakness here, we just wanted to show that. You want to show the viewers that this doesn't just work with pink dress. Oh my dear, do what you must. Well, great, grandpa in Paris, you really have some wild ideas. Oak, okay, pink dress has to go, brown vest. You can't be serious, I take back what I said about wild ideas. She just copies it and pretends she can't hear me, what a ziggy. Koki, great sis, now we've seen everything. So it works with a brown vest too. Okay, and here the number 0 to 3. Yes, that fits. Now add the 4 to capture the other person as well. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, add the 4. Just do it already, we know what's gonna happen. Oh, now the 5 for the Eiffel Tower. Then that's it, we all got it ages ago. That's it for the most important things about Florence too. I hope you had fun watching the video and took away something useful. Here, you can see how detailed the image descriptions can be. You can also use Florence to refine your prompt writing skills. And don't forget, hit that like button, Murphy will appreciate it. And subscribe if you don't want to miss the next videos. The Florence 2 video was basically the preparation for the Redux experiments. We originally wanted to include Olama in this one, but our free time wasn't on our side. What do you prefer? more frequent, shorter videos or packing more into one? Let us know in the comments. Murphy is still determined to answer every single one. Hello dear viewers, a few final words before we wrap up. Want to make controlling the seed even easier? Ziggy forgot to show you. Simply detach the seed and connect it with the nodes from RG3. That's the most comfortable solution. After all, we're working with Comfy UI. A quick preview of the next video. Before I forget, I was asked if I would consider publishing some of my workflows as an API on CART. What do you think about that? Let me know. But now, let's take a look at what's coming up in the next video. We've made some optimizations to the Olama workflow. It's included in the download package. If you already have Olama installed on your computer, you can start experimenting right away. One important thing to keep in mind, Comfy UI can't control Olama's VRAM usage. If you're not careful, you might run into memory issues. We have a few workarounds, but explaining them all would take too long, so we'll cover that in a separate video. That way, we can dive deeper into Olama. We're using Open Web UI with Docker, with Pinocchio, and directly, but within Comfy UI, that's what we really want to show you along with all the essential basics. Goodbye and see you soon, stay creative, and we'll see you in the next video. Alright, my awesome people, that's a wrap. Keep experimenting, keep creating, and most importantly have fun. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. Stay amazing, stay inspired, and don't forget to smash that like button. Bye, my friends.
Ciao meine lieben Freunde, bis ganz bald eure Sigi.